Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today's video, it's going to be Easy Air Fryer Recipes Part 4. Yeah, that means there is an entire playlist already started of Easy Air Fryer Recipes that you need to go check out. I will link it in the cards and down in the description box. So in case you don't know, I am on a low carb ketogenic diet. I've lost over 75 pounds and my favorite kitchen appliance just so happens to be my air fryer. That's going to be for several reasons. First of all, it doesn't heat up my entire kitchen like the oven does. It cooks my meals a lot quicker. I don't have to wait on it to preheat and it saves energy. The list is long. I could keep going. If you're over here checking out an air fryer YouTube video, Video, you already know the best invention ever. If you're not already following me, make sure you do. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that as soon as I upload, you'll be notified. Check me out over on Instagram. I'll have my name right here at the bottom of the screen for you. And check the description box because I'm also going to have my TikTok and the Facebook group, All Things Keto with Christy, linked down there. So you can click on them and they'll take you right on over. If you're wanting additional content, additional videos, and things that I've not shared on YouTube, those are the platforms to check out. Also remember, anything that I mentioned today, like my air fryer, some of my keto essentials, they'll be down in that description box so you can go see what they look like or where you can get a hold of those. And I'll also have some keto discounts down there for you too. So if you have like a favorite keto product, I might be able to save you some money on that. So always check out that description box. Okay, let me give a really quick disclaimer. I am not a chef. If you've been following me for a while, you already know that. I do not have this love for baking. What I have is a love of food and I want my meals quickly. I'm busy. We're always on the go. Things are going on. Homework to be done. And I know you all are just like me. You want to eat fast, but you want it to be delicious too. And of course, low carb and keto. That's where these air fryer recipes come in. So let me show you a few of my favorites right now. You already know, I use the Kasori. This is the larger one. I actually have the older version. They have a newer version of the Kasori air fryer. That is a smart version, which means you can hook it up to your Alexa. You can control it with an app on your phone. I will have that smart air fryer one day. It'll be linked below. I also got a new toy to use inside my air fryer. I had no idea. They make these silicone pots to put in the air fryer that are gonna be easy to clean. They're gonna be dishwasher safe. They're gonna be vented correctly. I'll also have it linked below. This one, super simple. You guys have been telling me to do it for ages, but I finally perfected how long it needs to be in the air fryer, at what temperature. We're talking about fresh green beans made in the air fryer. I will be using the liners. You put these in your basket, you're gonna be able to have quicker, faster, better cleanup of your air fryer. And if you don't have an air fryer like my Kasori that has the square basket in it, you can get these in round, you can get them smaller, you can get them bigger. They come in a pack of like 100, 200, and they are so cheap. Definitely worth every penny. I will put the ones that I use down below for you all. Since summer's almost here, we're gonna be able to get these out of the garden and we'll be able to make our own fresh cut green beans. Now, if you don't have a garden, go to the farmer's market or go to your produce section at your grocery store. But we're using fresh green beans today. Now, a lot of people that make the fresh green beans in the air fryer make this tiny little mistake. They don't go this extra step like like I do, which is going to be a game changer in my opinion. Put your green beans in a bowl. Then drizzle extra virgin olive oil on top of the green beans and toss them so that they get completely coated. I'm going to add in some pink salt and garlic powder, but you can use whatever seasonings or spices that you like best. These just happen to be two of my favorite. We're going to add those to our green beans and we're going to, you guessed it, toss again so that they are completely coated. The reason I like to do this all in a bowl, all of those ingredients, your olive oil, your salt, your garlic are going to fall through the basket or they're going to puddle on your air fryer sheet. 
this way, everything clings to the green beans. I know it's an extra step, but just follow the process, guys. Follow the process. Now, add them to your basket. 400 degrees for six minutes. Listen to that sizzle. I know you're not gonna be happy, but we're gonna put this back in the bowl. I know, but we have to because we want to coat it with Parmesan cheese. I know, this is just the Parmesan in a can. You can pick it up anywhere. There's tons of them to choose from. But when we sprinkle it with the Parmesan, if we do it right here in the basket, it's just going to cover the top. We want this delicious Parmesan to cover the entire green bean. See, look how perfectly they're coated. It's not just gonna be on the top. It's not just gonna be on the sides. When you take it out of the basket and put it in a bowl, then you put the cheese on it and you toss, all of the green beans get coated equally. And you don't have to worry about the cheese falling through all of those holes. 400 for four minutes or until crispy. Are you ready? These smell amazing. I love garlic anyways, and cheese on anything, especially a veggie, mm, my favorite. Sorry, they're hot and I had to get one out and eat it. One second. You know when you used to go out to restaurants and order the deep fried batter covered green beans? That's what these taste like. Make your own homemade ranch dip or whatever dip you like, and you can physically pick these up and dip them in if you want, but it's a perfect side dish. Absolutely delicious. Let me know what seasonings you're gonna use or if you're gonna make them just like this. Well, let me show you how I make pizza fries in the air fryer. I've pretty much shown this on all of my social media accounts and then I realized I didn't show you guys over here on YouTube. Really simple, all you need, pizza toppings, and Aldi fries. Have you been able to find the Aldi cheese fries yet? If not, you can use, is it the halloumi cheese? You can go ahead and cut that up and use it for this recipe if you want. But when I go to Aldi, I go ahead and stock up on these cheese fries. I remember the first time I tried them, it was a disaster. And that was because I tried frying them up in a pan. For me, I've realized I gotta put them in my air fryer. They come out amazing every single time. Add a single layer to the bottom of your air fryer. Add your seasonings of choice. Today, I'm just gonna use pink salt and garlic powder. Into the air fryer, 350 degrees for seven minutes. Now I'm gonna flip these, add them back to the air fryer for another four minutes. I didn't get them nearly as crispy as I normally do because there's one more step. I gotta put them back in, but we have to do a few things first. You can add your cheese fries to your silicone pot slash pan, or you can add it to one of these little pizza pans. I recently found this one at Walmart for only a dollar. It fits perfectly in the kasori. So I've been using this one for smaller things like my fries, and I've been using this one for when I make meatball bake, chicken, a casserole, something like that. Cheese fries onto the pan. Then I'm gonna add very little of the no sugar added pizza sauce that I pick up at Publix. There are several to choose from. I have found two or three even at Walmart. You're just going to have to read your labels. There's going to be natural sugars and things like that in your tomatoes anyway, so the carb count is going to be rather high. So if you use one fourth cup, you're going to be getting four net carbs, but I get nowhere near that because very, very thin layer going on top of these fries. That's it, very little. If you've got the carbs to spare, I say go for it, but even natural sugars spike me as a type one diabetic, so I go with as little as possible. Layer on your favorite pizza toppings. Here's a tip, go with the pepperonis if you're gonna use those first, because in the air fryer, these have a tendency to fly away. Possibilities are gonna be endless with this. Whatever leftover meats you've got laying around, you can add jalapenos, you can add onions, peppers, whatever you've got, add to this, but add your cheese last. That way it holds all of your toppings down. Top with mozzarella, then put the pan into the basket of your air fryer. And this is just going in long enough to melt that mozzarella cheese. One to three minutes and that's it. It wasn't exactly two minutes and the cheese started to brown up. This tray will be hot. Now all you have to do is slide them onto a plate and enjoy. Great alternative to pizza in a bowl, chicken crust, cauliflower crust. Use your Aldi cheese fries. Okay, so I have to know this. We like to dip our pizza and our fries in ranch. 
Do you guys do that or is it just a southern thing? Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to go ahead and subscribe, become a member of my YouTube family, and check out those other air fryer videos. I'll see you in the next one and I hope you have a great week. Bye.